operatives of the Western Nigeria Security Network, popularly known as Amoteku in Ondo State, have intercepted the bus loaded with 500 pieces of daggers concealed under the seats. They also recovered different sizes of knives and gun, guns hidden inside tiger nut bags. Also, 18 people suspected to be bandits who were in the vehicle were arrested while some others, while some others escaped. Parading the suspects before journalists in Akure, the state commander of Amotekun Corps, Aditunji Adileye, said the three bosses escaped from the different checkpoints before they were intercepted in Ondo State. The same Ondo again. The other time we saw, we learned that uh, they were they were hidden or they were hiding themselves inside being a truck. Meanwhile, Governor Roti Makeredolu had commended Amotekun Corps operatives for filling the vacuum left by military men in the state. Army personnel had abandoned checkpoints in the state after being alleged old allowances by the state government. In a statement on Thursday on his Facebook page, the governor said Amotekun Corps is now engaging the road patrol to further ensure the security of lives and property of all residents across the states. <laughs> These people, it's like they, they so-called uh, bandits and what have you, the northerners, whatever, they really, there's something they are looking for in that Undo state. Every now and then, it's always Undo, Undo, Undo. The Fulanese with their terrorist life, patrons are sending them down to the south against 2022, as predicted by the late Dr. Melafia. That is why they withdrawn the soldiers to allow free movements of their weapons and men. I only pitied the politicians, robbers, and those working against the southerners. Certainly, they will regret not speaking out against this terrorist invasion in the West. Thank God we all are involved. Hmm. No, be only one person. Everybody go use their take care of But those who are seeing evil and calling it good, now they go use their head take care of let me laugh here said by 2022 they will start war with the rest of the country having their full soldiers fully armed in our territory territory you know when they talk about them they kind of go there they, everybody just really ja, 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 ja. when even with what the man said before the man before the man later died nigerians will just be like especially the so-called politicians it baffles me the manner at which they do they take things as if uh, they, they so honestly, I don't understand. I don't know whether you understand these politicians. Who, you begin to ask that what is giving them that God that when they hear this kind of a thing, they look the other way. The only person who is still speaking is a sitting governor, is Governor Otom. He said he's going to fortify his uh, local vigilante and going to give them, uh, especially the volunteers that will volunteer that they want to be part of the security apparatus. That you is going to harm them, nothing will happen. But the rest governors are just thinking about uh, how Tinumbu will come, how the article will be there, how whatever, whatever. All of this revelation, this information that this man talked about on national TV. We have never heard that the so-called EFCC or the ADSS will invite those involved. They will do as if they are not hearing because they are reporting to the president and that is why the position of the president is so powerful or whether we are the ones who are not even doing the right thing we are not even following the, the system they just pack it at one side and begin to worship only one man it's not even peculiar to buari alone if another person comes because of the way the system has been structured everybody's looking the other way around everybody's afraid ah make you no be saying na me make you no be saying na me just like somebody said that we are all involved we are all in this together this kind of a thing is happening now, but if it's coming out from the mouth of Nam, the kind of they say, Ima, they smell, his own is too much. Everybody wants to be good. Ah, no, 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 no. Nam, the kind of is too saucy, he's too, he's too disrespectful. Oh, he does not know how to go about it. Oh, instead of him to be talking about a uh, Biafra, this Biafra, that, they should just go and form a political whatever. And I'm always asking those who are even giving such advice, why is it that it has not been easy for you? See what your warrior has done, and they will still laugh him, laugh, laugh, laugh at him. We are seeing all these things right before us. A lot of things that people always say it is fake. Even if at the end of the day, Nigerians get to know that those things are true or they confirm it, they will do nothing. With all of these things, how do we justify this kind of a thing that every now and then, because when I saw this, I, say, I was like, was it not the same people that they arrested some, some, some days back? They intercepted them, that they were found, they hid, they hid themselves, all these uh, northerners, they hid themselves 
inside truck. Now we are seeing another state, and it's not making any any meaning. It's not making any form of. It's not, it's not making any meaning to to the so-called politicians. They are playing to the gallery. They believe that they are private jets. Any little thing, Piam, that all of those things it will save them. That they will just fly away. <laughs> okay, let's see how how it's going to favor them at the end of the day. Our political leaders and royal fathers play politics and seek their bellies' interests. Until these terrorists ambushed us in a war, hell awaits you all. A big kudos to the Amotekuns. Doing a great job in Ondo State, especially. Amotekun will soon be proscribed. Yeah, they have said it. The so called Northerners, some groups have come out to say the government should proscribe them. They will be named terrorist groups soon. How dare. They intercept Nigeria's first-class citizens and businessmen under the tutelage of CEO Gumi. A good one. I'm sure they are heading to the eastern part of the country because of Anambra election. These are local hunters. Please, bandits use more sophisticated weapons than this. Moreover, bandits are not foolish to move in convoys on the road. They move. They mostly penetrate through the bushes. Amotekun are only looking for publicity, but this is a very this is very cheap. They should allow the innocent hunters to be eh hunters to hunt to hunt is in who say bush. They are coming from where? Are they local hunters? Hunters? Why can't they hunt in their own own village? This are one. This is one of all those uh, bandits you are talking about. You people's plan will soon be exposed, and God's willing, it wouldn't cut us on our way. Northern will never agree when you cut them red handed. They shall find a way to defend themselves, both politicians and their co supporters. You people claim that you have large lands and big bushes. Why come into the south in mass to hunt? Can't you people hunt in the north? The same thing now. What are you looking for? Because when you talk about uh, hunters, hunters are, are supposed to be local based people. Then what are you looking for? We have hunters in the southern part of the country. Me, I've never heard that uh, they will not transport themselves saying they are going to the north. How many people, how many hunters have you intercepted or have, have been intercepted in the north? What are they looking for? What, what are they going to look there? Look for there. So it is you, what one hunt for where? You can imagine. They claim they have everything. Yes, you know, go feel contain them to stay. That is how you will start hunting farm to pay. Banditry business. You people have left cow business and you want to come to this place because they know that uh, it's a free for nobody's going to arrest them. They are giving all of themselves uh, information. We know you are part of this. You guys were caught, were, uh, you were taught, to were taught to defend yourselves. Why was all checkpoints open some days back? We know all these tricks. Thank God they were caught. Hunters in three buses. Hey, <laughs> what are they looking for? Crossing many borders. Why are you people like this for God's sake? Can't you just be sincere for once? That is to tell you that all of them, they know what they are doing. They have that uh, whatever at the back of their mind. They have that agenda at the back of their mind. So it's unfortunate. It's just like uh, people are saying that uh, all these uh, so-called traditional rulers and the politicians who are seeking for their bellies. <laughs> Oh my God, you know go easy. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this.